Inkproducts.com has now released its ultimate refill kit for HP's new 63 and 65 cartridges. Now this is a very inexpensive printer we just purchased for this video. I think we paid $30 for the video. But I can refill their cartridges many, many times, saving hundreds of dollars. Because in the kit, you're going to get everything. When I call it the ultimate kit, it has everything. Snap and back, one for color, one for the black. It's got the Ultra Pro True Quality Pigment Inks for black, and then it has the dye base for color, just like HP. We have include a larger bottle of printhead cleaner, a floating tray, a pair of um, rubber gloves, and all the syringes needed to fill it. And by the way, you don't have to wash these syringes out, even though it says discard after use. Pay no attention to that. So in the video, you're going to see exactly how I do it. Now, these are the cards that came with the printer. I'm going to put them in, and I'm actually going to create it to run out sooner because I'm going to put solid color on the color to make it run out. Just to show you in the video how simple it is. By using the snap and vac, it's guaranteed success. The cartridge is in. Now here's a sheet I made up. I want to drain the ink down quick, to at least the red ink. I can show you how to fill it. So I'll set it for as many copies as I can. I'm going to keep running it. So I can watch this gauge right here go down. Every video that I do the refilling, I make up a little refill uh, box here. Holds my syringes, holds my ink so I can't knock it over. And then I'll use an old uh, tablecloth or something with a little cardboard underneath it and I work on that. So we coat it out, uh, almost coat it out because when I came over here to look at it, shows the color way down low so that's when you want to, now once that level drops completely you'll never see that again so I would do depending on your printing once every week once every two weeks just to add a little ink to the cartridge because if you keep adding ink to it this cartridge will last you for hundreds if not thousands of copies but if you keep letting it run out so when you see this let me show you that happens well, then you're going to cut down the life of that cartridge. So you don't want to do that. It's better to keep a little bit of ink in there. And there again, you don't have to wash the syringes out. It's very simple to do. You could even leave the ink in the syringe if you want. And, you know, I always store them up here like that so they can't get all over. And you want to keep them away from the kids and any pets because on these, we use a sharp needle because we have to pierce the sponge. If you ran a or you used a blunt needle in there, you would core the sponge, damage it. So, that being said, so when you're going to put this top on, you don't pick it up and put it on. Now, a nurse taught me this one time. You just go up there to the cover and do it like that. It's a safe way to do it. It really is a safe way. So now I'm going to take that cartridge out. I'll take that color cartridge out. Now I'm going to, I always top them all off. You can never put too much ink in because the ink's going to come out. So when I take it out, I'm going to put it in one of the clips that you're going to get because that's the area you want to protect. It's a very sensitive area. So you, when you take it out, you want to put it in a clip so you can refill it. Clip. See, that's a nice little clip you're going to get with it. You can store it in there. Uh, if you have extra cartridges, doesn't dry out, then the printhead, and there's the label. Below that label are going to be holes, and actually you're going to filter them. So you got three colors. you got your yellow, your magenta, which is red, cyan, which is blue. And you can peel that label off. And then when you peel it off, like I did here on this one, you'll be able to see the holes and where to fill them. And if you ever... Also, in the kit, you're going to get the fast-acting fast printhead cleaner. And then what you might want to do on some of the older cartridges, put them in a soaking tray. Let them soak for a little while. Now, the bottom of the tray won't damage 
the sensitive printhead on the bottom and then just let it soak now if you warm the chemical up just a little bit in uh, maybe like coffee temperature or something like that then it acts even faster and that's what you want to do because this was an old cartridge just sitting just sitting around so then you can come over here and you can plot it and see if your colors are coming out see I'm getting all my colors now I pull down just a little bit now make sure you're using the correct one and then I'm going to blot it on a paper towel and see how it looks I should see three colors looking at the bottom it doesn't look too flooded because if you flood it it'll drip right out of the bottom I push it down I've got a little flooding on the on the cyan but I'm still going to put it in and see what results I get. So now I can install it. And just, like I've said in the early part of the video, go in and just keep filling them a little bit. Put, put a half a, a cc in or, or even less than a half. As long as you keep ink in this cartridge, you can print literally hundreds, if not thousands. So when you run it out and it starts to streak, then that's when you do your damage. But in the kit, you're going to get everything. Everything it takes to be successful to fill these cartridges. Close them up. Now, you can do a printhead cleaning if you're set up to a computer, or I'm just going to run a, a print. I put a test sheet up in here. So I'm going to run all color. So my black hasn't had to be filled. Sometimes when you first fill them, you get little error codes in here, or the light blinks. Just take it out, clean it off. Sometimes it gets confused. And it takes you a minute or two to get it back online again. Now this is the first one out. Okay, there you go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Got my yellow, my red. Now there again, if I... I went from normal resolution, I, I raised it up to high, it would even come out a little bit better. My black looks good, pretty much all the colors look good. There again, if you ran one cleaning, that would probably improve it a lot more, and then set it for best printing. If you do that, you're going to get awesome prints out of the printer. So go to inkproducts.com for ink refill kits that work. You're going to get American made ink. You're going to get every tool with this ultimate kit you need to be successful. You're going to get your cleaner. So if you want to have extra cartridges, you're going to get storage clips or filling clips. You're going to get the amazing snap and vac, both for color and for the black. 